The Maidai terrorist groups, including Arambai, UNLF, United National Liberation Front, Maidai Police, KYKO, and PLA People's Liberation Army, have been central players in the complex socio-political landscape of Manipur. These groups have often operated with varying degrees of collaboration and conflict, often influenced by shifting alliances and ideological differences. The Arambai faction, known for its militant tactics and separatist agenda, emerged in the late 1990s as a splinter group from the UNLF. Led by charismatic leaders, Arambai initially focused on armed resistance against perceived injustices and marginalization of the Maidai community. However, over time, internal rifts and ideological differences led to splintering within the group, resulting in a fragmented landscape of Maidai insurgency. UNLF, one of the oldest and most prominent Maidai insurgent outfits, has long advocated for the establishment of an independent socialist state of Manipur. With its roots in the Marxist ideology, UNLF has been instrumental in shaping the discourse of Maidai nationalism and resistance against the Indian state. Despite facing military crackdowns and internal divisions, UNLF continues to wield influence in the region, including the Kuki-dominated areas, they even raped 25 Kuki people in Manipur, albeit amidst challenges posed by government counterinsurgency operations. Maidai police, often operating under the guise of a pro-government militia, has been accused of human rights abuses and extrajudicial killings in its purported fight against insurgency. While ostensibly aligned with the state apparatus, Maidai police's actions have at times blurred the lines between law enforcement and vigilantism, exacerbating tensions within the already volatile region. KYKL, another prominent Maidai insurgent group, has espoused a nationalist agenda aimed at safeguarding Maidai identity and autonomy. Despite engaging in armed struggle against the Indian state, KYKL has also been involved in dialogue processes and ceasefire agreements, indicating a willingness to explore political solutions to the long-standing grievances of the Maidai people. PLA, the armed wing of the Revolutionary People's Front, RPF, has been at the forefront of armed resistance in Manipur, often coordinating with other Maidai insurgent groups to challenge Indian state authority. With its guerrilla warfare tactics and clandestine operations, PLA has posed a formidable challenge to Indian security forces, leading to protracted conflict and instability in the region. The collaboration between Maidai Minister and these insurgent groups is a manifestation of the intricate web of alliances and power dynamics that define Manipur's political landscape. While such collaborations may be driven by pragmatic considerations or shared interests, they also underscore the complexities of governance and security in the region. The involvement of political figures in collusion with insurgent groups can exacerbate tensions and undermine efforts to foster peace and stability. The presence of Maidai terrorist groups, their interplay with political actors, and their impact on the socio-political dynamics of Manipur highlight the multifaceted nature of conflict in the region. Addressing these challenges requires a comprehensive approach that addresses the root causes of insurgency, while promoting inclusive governance and dialogue among all stakeholders. Burning of Kuki villages by Arambai members of the Maidai community in Manipur is a tragic chapter in the history of ethnic conflict in the region. It stems from a complex interplay of historical grievances, territorial disputes, and socio-political tensions that have plagued Manipur for decades. The Arambai members looted 6,000 guns over and more than 6 lakh round of ammo from state government forces, stations, 
This Arambai group are known to be the rapist of Midai community, where kooky ladies were forced to walk naked and later they were raped. Understanding the root causes behind these violent acts requires delving into the historical context and the dynamics between the Maidai and Kuki communities. Historically, Manipur has been home to various ethnic groups, including the Maitais and the Kukis, each with its distinct cultural identity and territorial claims. The relationship between these communities has been marked by periods of cooperation as well as conflict, often fueled by competition for resources, land, and political power. One significant factor contributing to the tensions between the Maidais and the Kukas is the contestation over land and territorial boundaries. Both communities lay claim to certain regions in Manipur, leading to disputes and occasional violence, particularly in areas where their territories overlap. These disputes are often exacerbated by competing narratives of history and identity, with each community asserting its right to the land based on its own historical narratives. Economic factors also play a role in fueling tensions between the Maidais and the Kukas. In some instances, Competition over resources such as land, forests, and water sources has led to conflicts between the two communities. Disputes over land ownership and access to natural resources have escalated into violent confrontations, with tragic consequences for both sides. Moreover, political factors have contributed to the animosity between the Maitais and the Kukas. Manipur's complex political landscape, characterized by ethnic diversity and competing interests, has often been a source of tension and instability. The struggle for political power and representation has led to rivalries between different ethnic groups, further exacerbating inter-community tensions. In this volatile environment, incidents of violence, including the burning of Kuki villages, have occurred, driven by a combination of historical animosities, territorial disputes, and socio-political tensions. While it is essential to acknowledge that not all members of the Maidai community are involved in such acts, the actions of a few individuals or groups can have far-reaching consequences for inter-community relations and the overall peace and stability of the region. It is crucial to recognize that the burning of Kuki villages represents a grave violation of human rights and a failure of governance and rule of law. Such acts of violence not only result in loss of life and property, but also deepen mistrust and sow seeds of further conflict and division within society. Addressing the root causes of ethnic conflict and promoting reconciliation and dialogue between the Maidai and Kuki communities are essential steps towards building a peaceful and inclusive society in Manipur. In conclusion, the burning of Kuki villages by certain members of the Maidai community in Manipur is a tragic manifestation of the deep-rooted tensions and conflicts that exist between these two ethnic groups. Addressing these tensions requires a concerted effort to address historical grievances, resolve territorial disputes, and promote inclusive governance and dialogue among all stakeholders. Only through such efforts can lasting peace and harmony be achieved in Manipur.